Welcome to evening Bible study, and then, then, then the future pastor, Pastor Dave, we give the big love offering for him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can you read the book of Loma, chapter 1, verse 8 to 17? Yeah? First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ of all of you, because, because your faith is being reported all over the world. Mm. God, whom I serve in my spirit, is preaching the gospel of his son. Mm. My witness, how, how constantly I remember you in my prayers at all times. Mm. And I pray that now, at last, mm. my God's will may be the way mm. be opened for me to come to you. Mm. I long to see you so that I may impart you to you on spiritual gift to make you strong. Mm. That is that you say that you and I make a mutual encouraged by each other. By each other's faith. I mm. do not want you to be to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that I planned many times to come to you, but have been prevented from doing so until now, in order that I might be have intra have a harvest among you, just as I have a, among the other Gentiles. I am a debater both to Greeks and non Greeks, both to wise and the foolish. Mm. That is why I am so eager to preach the gospel also to you who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Mm. First of the Jew, then to the Gentile, for in the gospel a righteous God of God is revealed. A righteousness that is by faith from the first to last. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Amen. Can you say it to me, in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. The righteous? The righteous. We live by faith. We live by faith. Yeah, thanks be to God today, my dear sister. I'm a Roman Catholic. It's okay, I can come. Of course, I love to invite the Roman Catholic. Give the big love offering for Roman Catholic sister. After this service, you become a born again. Yeah? yeah? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, do you know, I know the one Roman Catholic father in France. And he's born again. He's a father in the Roman Catholic. He's a, fa he's a priest in the Roman Catholic Church. I ask him, when you're Roman Catholic, you are born again. Why are you still in the Roman Catholic? Do you know what he say, Pastor Paul? 50,000 Roman Catholic priests, they are not born again. They, they don't know where they're going. But around, uh, among the 50,000, around the 500 of the priests, uh, they are born again. They gave their life to Jesus. And then he said to me, he still remains in there. Why? He wants to win the soul from Roman Catholic. And uh, that is why he is still in there. But tonight, I would like to share with you about uh, verse 17. The righteous will live by faith. faith. Can you say after me, in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. The righteous will live by faith. The righteous will live by faith. You can live by faith. Amen. Amen. Do you know, this is the one, the... This is a fundamental scripture to open the Protestant. Have you heard about the Martin Luther? Martin Luther is a, he come from uh, Germany. Martin Luther he was a priest in Roman Catholic. Do you know what was happening? He want to he want to be saved, but he never know what does mean he was saved. He does not know what does mean he was born again. Do you know? Around the 16th century, around the 500 years ago. One man from Germany, his name is Martin Luther. One man from Scotland, his name is John Knox. One man come from France, his name is John Calvin. One man, one man come from the, uh, Switzerland, his name is Chivingli. You see that? God used these people, what, what God wants to do, God wants to, to encourage the people to understand the meaning of born again. Do you know Martin Luther, he discovered how he became a born again to this scripture. The righteous will live by faith. Which means, I don't want to tell you what you need to do. I need to tell you, just believe what Jesus has done. Amen. Can I say again? Mm -hmm. You need to understand them what Jesus has done for you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If you believe them what Jesus has done for me, he died on the cross for me. He is the son of God in my life. He is my Savior and my Lord. You are born again. Can you look at the Romans chapter 10? Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Romans 10. God. Oh. Romans, uh, you, need to, you need to wake up. <laughs> Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. 
If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Can you stop here? If you declare with your mouth, what? Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Can you say after me? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. I keep leading. You already declare with your mouth. Yeah? Look, look. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Believe that in your heart, Jesus raised up from the dead. How many believe that Jesus raised up from the dead? Do you believe that? Yeah, you see, well done, and keep reading. You will be saved. You will be saved. Do you understand? You believe that Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, in your heart, in your mouth, you are saved. Keep reading. For it is with your heart that you believe and, you, and are justified. Yes. In your heart, you believe that you are justified, you are righteous. Can you imagine? You believe that you are righteous. Yeah? And it is with your mouth that you, pro that you profess your faith and are saved. With your mouth, and Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, and you are saved. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. When Jesus died on the cross, how many people died together with him? Two. 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 One is what? Left. Uh, One is right. right. What the righteous, uh, the criminal guy say to Jesus? Anybody know? Anybody knows that? What that guy say to Jesus before he died? Remember me when you go to your heaven. Yeah, remember me when you go to your paradise. And Jesus say to him, you'll be with me. You'll be with me. Same day. Can you imagine? When you go to heaven, I'm looking, when I go to heaven, I'm looking for that man. I want to tell him, you are the most <laughs> luckiest man in the whole history of the world. Just before he died, yeah. he said to Jesus, remember me. He recognized that Jesus is his Lord and his Savior. Isn't that wonderful? This is the, how you become a born again. Look at the Ephesians. After the Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Ephesians, yeah, let me take more. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Yeah. Did you find it? Yeah, a little bit more. You can read it from here, verse 8 and 9. 8 and 9, yeah. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not. From yourselves. Yes. It is the gift of God. Yes. Not by work, so that no one can boast. Yes. For we are God's workmanship, mm. created in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, to do good works, mm. Mm. which God prepared in advance for us to do. Yes, thank you. But say, it is by grace you have been saved through faith. Do you understand? Grace come down from heaven, yeah? And you respond by faith, banging like this, and you are saved. Can I say again? Grace, God, grace will come down from heaven and you respond by faith. You recognize that Jesus, your Lord and your Savior. Bang! You are saved. We call it saving faith. Do you know the saving faith is also a grace of God? Do you, do you understand? This is wonderful. And then look, verse 8 says, It is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not, this is not from yourself. It is a gift of God. How many are born again now? Yeah, I would like to pray with you. Can you say to me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Come, into my heart. come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. Forgive, all my sins Forgive all my sins by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Change, my Change my life. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Dear, Father, Dear Father, I love you. I love you. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the big cloud for you. <laughs> that prayer, you become a born again. That prayer become born again in Jesus' name. Okay. Do you understand? Look, by the grace of God, by the grace of God through faith, you are saved. And not from yourself, it is a gift of God. Not by work. Can you say, me? I'm saved, not by work. I'm saved, not by work. Only by the grace of God. Only by the grace of God, you are saved. You know... I never seen uh, some like young girl came to me, eleven years old girl. I, I'm an I'm a Roman Catholic. It's okay, I can come. Yeah. Of course, you are come. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Mm. Tonight I come here for this beautiful girl. Mm. I thank. I was praying to God. Why you ask yeah. me to come mm. for some mm. message tonight? Mm. God spoke to me for this girl. 
Even it's a small song. Yes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not big song. No, it's a small precious song. Yeah. So precious song. Yeah. Precious. Look, yeah. look, look. Not by work, so that no one can boast. No one can boast. By the grace of God, it is gift of God. And look, after you save, look at verse 10. Verse 10. One second, you can read it for me. Verse 10. Do you know Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, you can read. Listen. Listen carefully. For we are God's workmanship. You see, you are God's workmanship now, yeah? Created in Christ Jesus to do good. You see, created in Christ Jesus to do good work. You can be a good worker right now, amen? Yeah, you can be a good worker for Jesus. It's not wonderful. Which God preparing the advance for us to do. You see? Do you understand? When you become a born again, after that, you do do good work for the glory of the Lord. Do you understand? When I was uh, not born again, when I was a worldly man, I was a heavy smoker. I smoked 60 pieces of a cigarette per day. I was a heavy drunk. I drank 20 liters beer within three hours. And my home was the beat of the fever. When I was a policeman, I used to teach a taekwondo. I was an evil man. When I become a born again, do you think I need a smoking continually? Yes or no? No. I don't need a cigarette. Do I need to drink continually? No. No, I don't need alcohol. Do I need to beat the people? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> My hope was to beat the people, but I don't need to beat the people. No, you don't. I don't. No. But people beat me when I preach the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I was preaching on the street, people beat me. Can you imagine when I become a born again? My behavior change. Mm. My action change. Mm. My lifestyle change. Yes. I become uh, more, more holy. My life is sanctified. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. It's not wonderful. That is why by the grace of God, through faith, you born again. After born again, what Bible says? But you have got your hand to work, creating Christ Jesus to do good work. Mm. To do good work. Can you do the good work for Jesus? Amen. 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 Yeah. Today, I saw the two homeless in, in central London. And then when I come to him, give the leaflet, he was shocked like this. Because many homeless, they beat him by some drunker. But he thought, is, I'm a drunker too, kicking the, his, his belly. But I didn't. <laughs> I gave the leaflet, and he was shocked. And I preached the gospel. Mm. You know, yes. by the grace of God, you know, I helped the homeless and drug and alcoholic. For me, when I was a policeman, when I was non-Christian in South Korea, do you know, homeless, alcoholic, drug addict, I hate these kind of people. Mm. You know, when young homeless uh, begging on the street, do you know what I did? I come near to him, I banged bang. his head, bang, and then wake up, get a job. I did like that. Mm -hmm. But in this day, I don't beat the homeless. <laughs> do you know what I did? <laughs> I bring the homeless to my house. I still remember I bring the 13 homeless. And uh, today, when I came out from train, when I came out train, oh, I know that the lady, she's a very famous prostitute in certain area. And uh, she, when I came out from train, and she get inside the train, and do you know what happened? How do you know, how do you she, know she's famous, Paul? Because everybody knows, in, everybody knows in that area. And uh, she, she's screaming. <laughs> Hello, Pastor Paul. She's not going to me from inside. And then she opened the window. Why should I? Everybody look at me from inside the uh, train. Yeah, how can you call the, someone to control the prostitutes, this kind of man? Yeah, pimp. And they told I'm an uh, oriental pimp. <laughs> and then, do you know why I gave the around the 10 replay I gave to her? Preach the gospel. And she did. She gave all the replay inside the train. Do you understand? When I, when I brought uh, that, that, that prostitute to come to my house, do you know Brother Pedro? Yeah. Pedro, he stayed in my house. He was scaring. He locked his door. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't be scaring, brother. We, you are the one to preach the gospel. Do you know why I say it like this? God changed my life. God changed my life. Because God changed my life, how can I bring the current prostitutes to come to my house? Do you understand? Yeah. I used to hate the, this kind of people, but now I'm a friend of prostitutes, gangster, alcoholic, drug addict, homeless. They are my friend. Do you understand? Do you know? I love them. Don't hate these people, please. Yeah? Don't hate them. 
And that this is the meaning. When you become born again by the grace of God through faith, yeah, what happened? God say, for you are God's handwork now, creating Christ Jesus to do good work. Therefore, now you need to increase your faith. How can you increase your faith? Look at the Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Yeah, Romans 10, 17. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bless you, yeah. You are born again now, yeah. yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, 10, 17, yeah. Consequently, faith comes from hearing hearing the message. Yeah, message. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. You see. Do you want to increase your faith, yeah? How can you increase your faith? Hearing the word of God. Hearing the word of God. I believe that she, she hear the word of God over 10 years now. Yeah? From the baby. 11 years, 11 years. Yeah, 11 okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine? She's, a, she's like the you know, living Bible. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. From the baby, she listens to the word of God. Mm -hmm. She's like the, you know, my, my daughter. <laughs> yeah, you of course, your daughter. But she received the word of God day and the night. Received the word of God. And uh, her faith is strong. Even you too. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm helping him to train him to be a Power of minister. You too. God save you. Even bully coming inside your chest. You survive. You almost got to heaven a few years ago. How many years ago? Three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago, you almost got to heaven. You are the intensive unit. And I was touching your chest. The Lord save him. Lord, if you, if, you, if you save him, I think he can be a pastor. You are ready to be a pastor? More here. Okay, <laughs> be ready to, to bring the gospel of Lord Jesus. He's still, he's still getting cooked. Okay. <laughs> like, do, you, do you understand? Paul, half of the head is on the chicken. Yes. Be ready to be a born again. Be ready to be a born again. How? By the grace of God. By the grace of God. By the grace of God through faith, you are born again. Therefore, you need to listen to the word of the Lord and increase your faith. I want to share with you a final testimony I finish. My grandmother, she died when she was 94. Mm. And then when she was 88, she became born again. Mm. And do you know how she became born again? 88 years old woman, my grandmother. She was a bosal. Bosal means she was like a strong Buddhist in the Buddhist temple. She wear the Buddhist gown all the time, every day. Mm. And then my mother was a bosa, my grandmother bosa, two bosa live in my house. Very strong. Every, you know, when the Buddhist monk, the Buddhist monk collected some, some rice, some offering from the house to house. Some money. When some money. Do you know where they sleep? They sleep in my house. Buddhist monk sleep in my house. Because of, you know, we are a Buddhist family. What's Bozal? What's Bozal? Like bishop. No, Bozal means like elder in the in the church, something like that. He's a very strong Buddhist uh, uh, man and woman become a Bozal. My grandmother was Bozal. And then, you know, I was praying to God for my grandmother. If my grandmother died without the Jesus, where she go? I ask you. Hell. Hell, okay. Can you imagine? When I become a born again, I pray to your Lord, you save me. You according to your scripture, Acts chapter 16, verse 31, say, You and your household shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Father God, can you save all my family? Mm -hmm. Do you know what was my prayer, Lord? If you don't save my family, can you remove the, my name from the book of life? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to hell. Uh, I don't want to go to hell. Remove the, your name from the book of life. What, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remove your, yeah, remove your name from going to heaven. Go to hell, actually. Yeah. Do you understand? I don't want to do it. That was why I was praying seriously. Do you know, Moses, he did. Mm -hmm. Moses, he prayed to God. If you don't forgive the people to sin, you can remove my name from the book of life. Moses prayed like that. I was praying like that. That is why I was praying to God for my grandmother. Then and I was praying and praying. I'm telling you, before I came to UK in 1992, in 1991, my grandmother gave her life to Jesus. She was 88 at the time. And I was praying to God, do you know what was happening? Before I, I visited my grandmother's house, uh, three days before, her best friend died. Her best friend, my grandmother's best friend died. She was 76, 12 years younger than her. 
<laughs> and then I came to my grandmother. Do you know what I told her? Grandmom, listen to me. Your best friend died three days ago. Mm. And then her friend uh, didn't believe in Jesus. Where is she gone? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Mm. And I told my grandmother, if you don't believe in Jesus, unfortunately you go to hell. Think about your age. Very soon you'll die. I told her. Mm. Do you understand? When I spoke to my grandmother about the death, she was so angry. She's shouting at me, go away. <laughs> she only upset by because her best friend died three days ago. But I still speak to him about your death. Mm. She was angry. I told her second times, think about your age. You don't know when you died. Before you die, you need to give your life to Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Believe in Jesus and you can have eternal life and you can go to heaven. I told her. And then she was angry. When I asked her second time, she was angry. And I told her third times. Do you know what I say? Grandma, listen to me. You have to choose the one way between heaven and hell. Which do you want? I asked her. Which do you want? Heaven. Everybody. Which, which do you want? Heaven. How old are you? Seven years old girl who want to go to heaven in everybody. Do you, my grandmother, 88, she was angry, three times angry, and then she, like this. When I asked her third time, do you know what she did? Like this, and then she lip of her head like this. I like heaven. <laughs> when she speak like, I like heaven, it's, it's very funny. And I told her how she become born again, and uh, she believed, and she become born again. When she gave her life to Jesus, and then I told her, now your name is written on the book of life. And you know what my grandmother told me? Can you tell me more? I can do something to get the salvation. Mm -hmm. Because of both are in the Buddhist temple, when somebody you know, become a Buddhist member, they want to get the salvation by their own work. Mm -hmm. My grandmother told me, can you tell me some more things? I can, I can earn the salvation. I said, no, just believe that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Do you know what my grandmom said to me? Is that all? So mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. I want to do something. I said, no. Just believe in Jesus and your Lord and your Savior. You are saved. Mm -hmm. Thanks be to God, my grandmother become a born again. Mm -hmm. When this story, this news spread within one hour, over 20 Christians came to my grandmother's house. Mm -hmm. And do you know what was happening? Around 20 Christians, they told me, they know that I'm a pastor. Pastor Paul, we never ever thought God can save anybody but not for your grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because she is so stubborn, she is so strong Buddhist. Set in her own ways. Yes. But they are shocked because my grandmother became a born again. Mm. And when she was 93, she told me, because I, I visited Korea once a year. When I went there, my grandmother told me, and then, you know, my Korean name, Kiho. And she called me Pastor Kiho. And she told me, you and God is a good relationship. I live in this world for a long time, 93 years. Can you ask the, our Father in heaven and then ask him to call me quickly? I love to go to heaven quickly to be with him. Mm. Can you imagine my, uh, my grandmom asking me, tell your God, tell my God, because you and God is a good relationship. And then ask him to call me quickly. I said, no, mommy, I cannot pray that kind of prayer. I pray for you, God will give you good health. Mm -hmm. And uh, she lived another one more year. She died very peacefully. Mm -hmm. She's in heaven. Do you understand? I keep on preaching the gospel. And my father also is in heaven. I thank you, I pray to God, Lord. Save all my family. Can you say to me in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. All my family shall be saved. All my family shall be saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to pray for all your family, your relative, and your mommy, your daddy, still Roman Catholic. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to pray for them now. Can you touch your heart and you can pray for your family, your family, some of your uncle still not born again, some of your family, like a backslide, run away from Jesus. Can you touch your heart, heart and close your eyes and can pray. Can you say to me in the name of Jesus? Save all my family. Save all my family.
In the name of Lord Jesus, I destroy the plan of Satan. Go away from my family. All spirit of unbelief. Go away. They believe in Jesus. They have eternal life. You can save all my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the big cloud for Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you.